is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in. I just did a generated nush. Ooh, it was... It was it was chaos. Okay, so we're going to we're gonna dive in and see if I can pick up on this energy and see what comes out. Cause some of this, it's like some stuff about to hit the fan or something. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio, please. What's going on with Scorpio's energy right now? What is going on with Scorpio's energy right now? Three cards, please. Oh shit, y'all got the damn King Cups in reverse. No. Ten cups in reverse. Okay. An emotional manipulator. That's what that is. Somebody very unstable, emotionally manipulative here. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck with the judgment. This could be somebody that tried to like build something with this person or uh, you might have tried to build something with them. They could have put you in a third party situation as well with this Ace of Pentacles. Somebody was indecisive, and now they could be like moving on or moving towards you here with this Knight of Pentacles, wanting to offer you this pentacle, wanting to build with you here after third party. Let's see. What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? Give me two more cards. What's going on with Scorpio? The Star card. Somebody wants to heal something after some drama, after some conflict, after fighting and arguing, after competition here. The World card. They want to put a close to this. They want to end this here. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. This could have also been public as well with that world card, like online fighting chaos. The hangman. Somebody seeing something from a different perspective here. Or somebody sacrificed. I don't know if they sacrificed. They sacrificed the connection with you. This is like a missed opportunity. Ace of Cups, Four of Cups. Somebody rejected you or, reject, or rejected your love offer. But now it's like somebody wants to heal this here, but I don't know if you're going to accept this here. Let's see what's going on. Give me another one for Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles came back out. Slow, slow, mother, you know what, okay? Whoever this is, yeah, page of, page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Judgment. Nine of Swords. Whoever this is, the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Pentacles, whoever this is, it's tearing them up. This is someone that feels left out in the cold, okay? They could be listening to their intuition, um, now, or it, they kind of left their emotions out in the code. They could have, you know, this could have been somebody else that they invested in here, but the will is turning. This is fated to happen. This was meant to happen here. Nine of Swords energy. Somebody is stressed, going through anxiety, sleepless nights. I mean, you may look at this person, it looked like they got beat up in their sleep, you know. <laughs> the judgment card. Like somebody's realizing that they, they made a judgment call and they planted the seed. Or they broke your heart, or now they're heart broke. They're heartbroken because they should have planted the seed here, or they want to offer you love with this Ace of Pentacles, Page of Cups. What's at the top? King of Wands. Oh well, they were in their ego. That's why they were leading with their penis or their vagina. Yeah, and they have regrets of that. Somebody was in their ego. King of Wands, Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and Five of Cups. Now they're looking back and they have regrets. They have like they're they're regretful. They're reminiscing here. They're looking at what they've already lost because of them being in their ego, being in this sexual energy, giving into temptation, giving into, you know, a sexual connection. Maybe they had a loving connection with you, but instead they gave to a sexual connection. But this King of Cups is showing a very manipulative type of person. So, I mean, ew, you know, um, let's clarify. Because I was picking up this energy in another reading. I was like, what the hell is going on here? I thought I was like, yeah, this is about to be a good read. Then I got into it and I was like, well, what is this? So, honey, okay. Clarify this King of Cups energy, please, Spirit. What is this King of Cups energy about, please, Spirit? Clarify this King of Cups energy. Competition. Clarify this King of Cups energy, please, Spirit. So this person, they could have put you in competition with somebody, okay? The luck card is here. Your luck is about to change. So they could have put you in competition with somebody because they were emotionally manipulative. You know, emotionally manipulative people, that's what they do. They like to make you feel less than if you get to feeling, you know, if you get to smelling yourself too much or, or you get to feeling good. They like to like bring you down, make you feel less than, make you feel unworthy, make you feel like you're not better than them. And it's because they're projecting. They have their own insecurities, so they project them onto other people. 
uh, someone's in competition with you or sees you as competitive. Now, this could have also been someone that, you know, maybe whoever they put you in competition with, this person, they were emotionally manipulative, you know. They were able to manipulate this person and play on this person's emotions to make them act this way. Tyrant, cruel, oppressive ruler, uses force to control people. This is why, yeah, honey. And I, I can't stand an emotionally manipulative ass person. I'm sorry. That shit pisses me off. Don't play on my emotions like that. Don't do me like that. Because I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. I Like once I figured this shit out, I was like, oh, wow. People really out here doing that shit? Like this is somebody that come in they'd be like, you know, I love you. You know, you know, I really care about you and stuff like that, right? Just to draw you in. And then like they start like slowly like, Oh, you're gaining too much weight. You need to lose weight. Or oh, you're a little, you're a little round around the middle just to knock your confidence. This person's emotionally manipulative, but it's so that they can get what they need out of you here. They have to have control and they don't care what they got to do. They will flirt with somebody right in front of your face to make you feel insecure, to make you feel like you got to do more to give more to them here. You know, it's part, part of narcissistic vibes is what it is. But somebody's realizing that you was a good luck charm. You weren't just any old person, baby. And luck is changing for you here. If you're not dealing with this type of person, you're probably feeling better. You, I bet you, I bet you going after things that you didn't think you would ever do before. You loving on yourself. You pouring into yourself. You're like, man, damn, this feels good. You know, you can sit without somebody critiquing you, criticizing you, making you feel terrible. This type of person, you cook a big ass meal for them, and and they sit there and be like, it's great, but you could have did better. You know. Or like, mm, but this is, it's quite terrible, you know, or that eat it, you know what I'm saying? Cause it was fucking good. And then afterwards they're like, well, you know what? It did make my stomach hurt. So it wasn't too good. Or you might've used too much. Like they, they, they do shit to get in your mouth. I can't stand y'all. <laughs> this is a power hungry mother. You know what? Okay. Revengeful forcing justice. Power hungry. This is someone who has to have control. I don't know if this is somebody you mess with or somebody that's in, you know, in your proximity. This could be a friend, lover, family, brother, sister, mother, whatever. Lover, best friend, ex-best friend, friend of me, foe, whatever. This person was power hungry. This person said, okay, you could, you could piss this person off, not even meaning to, just by being, you know, your own authentic self, just by you existing, could piss this person off. You know what I'm saying? And so they decided, oh, I feel like Scorpio is getting a little too high up on her horse or his horse. So I'm going to fucking knock them down. So by doing that, I'm going to emotionally manipulate them to make them feel like they're less than because how dare they feel like they're better than me. When you never even intended that to be what was going on, you were just la, 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 you know. But this person, they feel like nobody should feel better than me. Like, I don't, honey, look. <laughs> These type of people, stay the fuck away from me. I cannot stand this. I cannot stand it. I got one in my family that was close to me, and I would see him do that shit, and I'd be like, you dirty, dirty son of a you-know-what. Like, don't don't even come around. Like, I, can't, I can't. I don't even want you near me. Let's see. Clarify this king of cups with this competition and tyrant energy. Clarify this king of cups, please, spirit. Talking shit in reverse. Oh, now they on hush. <laughs> now they on hush. Okay. Look, forcer. What I tell you? Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want and reject it. You could have rejected this person because you've seen them as toxic. You might have been like, no, nah, you know, I really don't want to hang out with you like that. You know, we cool. We cool. But, you know, I just, eh. And so instead, because you rejected them, mm-hmm. They want to emotionally manipulate you to tear you down because they, oh, no, no, you didn't feel like you were too good to, to give me a chance. This is, oh, my gosh, perfect example. Thank you, Spirit. This is the type of person, have you ever seen those people that's outside and they be like, oh, dang, girl, you look good or dang, man, you fine. You're like, thank you, but I got a girlfriend. It's You weren't being rude. You were just saying, thank you, I appreciate that, you know, but I do have, a, I have a girlfriend or I have a boyfriend. You were just letting them know that I'm already taken, you know, I already have somebody, you know. Thank you, though. You thank them. But now they feel rejected. So now they're going to say, well, fuck you. You ain't that fucking pretty anyway. Or you, that's why your lips big. You know, that's an emotional manipulator. They can't take rejection well. 
And it's not that you was trying to reject them. You did it in the most kind hearted way. Like, hey, you know, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You don't look you don't look too bad yourself. You're actually handsome yourself. But you know what? I, I'm actually already taken. But thank you, though. This is this type of person. Yeah. Idle. Blocked. They don't like that because you here you are. I don't love, respected, admired, I last. You know, a lot of people may look up to you or see you as somebody very enlightened or uh, very loving, very caring. They're like, well, you know, you know, you got some good looks on you. You're very beautiful. You're a person. You ain't even got to be the prettiest motherfucker in the room. It could just be your personality. Maybe you step in a room and it's like, Psh! you know what I'm saying? Like glitter party, you know? It could be that. But somebody didn't want you to feel that way. They wanted you to feel blocked out. Whatever the fuck they were saying... Okay, they on hush now, talking shit in reverse. Yeah, mm-hmm. Somebody seeing. Sorry, y'all dropped the card. Somebody seeing that somebody has been emotionally manipulative here. And the shit is coming out. It's being seen. This is like, you know, you do good and you not bragging or nothing. You like, hey, look, I'm just building, I'm building this business. You could have even offered to help this person. Hey, I help you, you know, let's do. No, no, no. So you go out, you do your thing, and this person talking shit about you the whole entire time. Then you, boom, blow up, right? They can't say shit. All that shit they was talking, they like, boop. Can't say nothing now. Clarify the King of Cups in reverse, please, spirit. Photo proof getting evidence. Somebody's starting to see that somebody was in competition with you here. Always partying, drama starter. This person here, say you're building a business or you're making things happen for yourself. You're trying to change your life, get your life on, on course on the right path, right? You could have even offered to help this person. This person refused your help. So, you know, you kept it moving. It's not, hey, it's no biggie. Hey, it is what it is. I'm keeping moving. Now, this person over here, the reason why they talk shit about you, because they don't have anything going on in their life. They love drama. They love chaos. Chaos. They love the party. They love the drink. They love to turn up. But when it comes time to like laying that foundation, making work, making practical decisions, being responsible, they don't know how to do that. And so in order to make themselves look better and feel better, they have to downplay you you see what i'm saying like this is they they this they might not have emotionally manipulated you they could have emotionally manipulated people around you to where they looked at you differently like like why are you switching up on me like that all of a sudden friend we was friends you know what i'm saying what's going on and then all of a sudden it's because this one little buzz you know little bee then got in somebody ear and talk shit and now somebody is starting to see somebody for who they are oh when you just talking shit about them oh but now you want to be their friend mm. Mm, okay. Grudge hurt. Somebody was holding a grudge against you. This is somebody. This is somebody that could no longer manipulate you anymore emotionally because you had emotionally detached from this person in some sort of way, or you just stopped uh, communicating with them, talking to them, or anything like that. This person, y'all, wants you back and waiting. This is the type of person you they could have broke up with you or you broke up with that, whichever, right? And then instead of being like, oh yeah, I still got feelings for that person, they were just like, nah, fuck that person. I can't stand them. Some, some, some. But see, that's emotional manipulation because you really do care about that person. But you talking shit about that person because you're hurt. You see, that's projecting. You see what I'm saying? You're like, oh no, I didn't fucking want that bitch no way. Or I didn't fucking want that man no way. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's that. But really, in reality, this person was waiting for a chance to get back with you. Motion manipulation. Honey, this type, this is, this is like high school shit. Okay, this is like middle school stuff. Like, I don't like you today, Johnny. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. And then two days later, but I miss you, Johnny. I really do love you. This, this is that type of stuff. People too grown for this. Okay, too, too grown. But, you know, that's a it's a childlike mindset. Like, they haven't grown out of that yet. Clarify the star card for Scorpio. Clarify the star card for Scorpio, please, spirit. Egotistic person. This is somebody that wanted to win at all costs, okay? Somebody was in their ego. No, you shouldn't like that person. Ugh, I can't stand them. They were willing to go beyond. Above, to infinity and beyond, as Buzz Lightyear would say, Okay. To make sure somebody didn't heal something with you. If this was a friendship, same sex love, stripped and cleansed, you are being purified by spirit. So some of y'all, y'all were bat battling against somebody that you was with. Like this was the same sex. Some of y'all could, you know, you date a male, male and male, female, female, whatever, you know. Planning a secret escape is on the bottom here as well. This is somebody that you 
You might have distanced yourself from. Maybe y'all had a falling out or something like that, right? You done cleansed yourself from this energy. You done let go of this person. And it's like somebody's ego just, I don't know. It destroyed this here. But somebody's having a wake-up call. I'm telling y'all, there was another party. There was another party involved here. You got wake up. Someone's about to receive a rude awakening. And then succubus seduces and manipulates men. So if this, say say you were with somebody. And maybe y'all were on bad terms or something like that. This person met a succubus energy. Okay. Met a succubus energy. And this person emotionally manipulated your person so that they would like literally treat you like shit. This tyrant energy would turn into like this hate energy. You know what I'm saying? Because they really want to get back with you, but like this person was like, oh no, I'm not going to, they're, they're a bitch. And they, you know, I'm telling you, that little B, like start putting shit in somebody's ear. They could have even been telling lies like, well, I know they slept with so-and-so, or I know they was with blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Like this person, because some of y'all could have been dealing with, hell, this person could have been attracted to you. You see what I'm saying? Like looked at you and was like, damn, they are pretty. Damn, they do got a great personality. Hell, I would date them myself, but I can't ever let them know it because I want their person. You see what I'm saying? Like this person's very... Ugh. I don't know. I don't I don't like this. Let's see. Give me another on this star energy, please, spirit. Give me another on the star energy. Woo wee! Why are you so obsessed with me? Yes. And bipolar disorder. Told you. This is someone, first of all, they're mental. They need to go get help. Okay. Go get help. Go talk to a doctor. Something like that. This person, they're very disturbed, okay? This person is very obsessed with you. They look you up. They see what you're up to, what you're doing. Unwanted opinions. People giving you unsolicited advice or feedback. And chaos. This person was causing chaos here. And somebody could have been trying to tell them, like, yo, what's wrong with you? Like, what, what are you doing? Why are you why are you taking in that information? Why are you why are you acting like that? Like, whatever this this unwanted opinions was. They should have like let they should even listen to it. Because I'm saying it's like a bee got in somebody's ear and like they started saying shit. Somebody else's opinion of you was put on whoever you were trying to collaborate with. And like they just, I mean, and this person was obsessed. This could have been an ex. The X factor, someone's still caught up with an ex, needing to X people out that are toxic and etc. Bad deals, yeah. Somebody a guy with somebody and they know, honey, they know, ooh. This is what it is. Stable man that got their shit together. And then personality disorder, struggling to find self. So this could have been, y'all, if you were dealing with a person, this could have been somebody that really, maybe they had their shit together at one point, right? But they could have been dealing with like their own, their money and shit like that could have been right. But they could have been dealing with a personality disorder within them, like not feeling like they were worth anything or... You know, or somebody seen this person as like stable, like you could have been dating this person or interested in this person. Somebody else was too. And they were like, oh, I really want that person. So I'm going to come over here and fuck, fuck with their head and emotionally manipulate them in some sort of way. Dangerous karmic ties. I told you they could have got tied up with somebody that was just as emotionally unstable as they were. Like they knew how to play on this. You might have realized this in this person, like one minute they'd be cool with you and the next minute they were snapping. Like you was like, what the fuck? Uh, what's wrong with you? Uh, the, oh, I seen this post online and it said, it says sometimes a person, the reason a person switch up, switches up on you is because of somebody else. This, that's this energy here. Like you and you and your friend or you and your brother or sister or something like that could have been perfectly cool. Right. And in a the moment they go meet with somebody else and they get to hanging out with this person, all of a sudden their personality changes. All of a sudden, they picking up traits that this person, you know, kind of like narcissistic. Perhaps. I'm just saying they start picking up, you know, traits of this other person. But this person was like feeding stuff in their ear like, oh, you shouldn't hang out with your sister like that. You know, your sister look kind of sneaky. Um, well, you know, I seen your sis sister over at so-and-so. Like they would just like put little bugs, you know, in their ear. But it was like you weren't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? You, I feel like you weren't doing nothing. But this person like. They didn't want y'all, they wanted to break y'all apart, but now somebody, maybe y'all was on bad terms, but somebody didn't want y'all to come together and heal them or like be cool again. Cause then you might've known this person was like that. You, I don't know, honey. This person could have wanted to take your place or be like you. I was like, what's going on with the star energy? You know, that, that silent hater, like they really look creeping. 
they really like you. They really admire you. But at the same time, they fucking hate your guts. This dead person. Creeping legal issues. Now somebody dealing with legal issues. What I tell you? Shine your light. Irritate your de their demons. Something about your energy irritates this person. And it's because they evil inside. That's, let's just be real. They, they got their own evil demonic shit going on in there. And so they feel some type of way. Now somebody going through legal issues. Again, this could have been somebody, you know, it could have been a side bitch or something like that. Oh, sorry. Side chick. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Side chick or side dude, right? You could have been married to this person. This is a side person. Hey, I can do this for you. I can do this for you. I make your life better. Da, 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 da. Your wife, your wife or your husband ain't no good anyways. I bet they don't do this for you. I bet they're this type of person. That's laziness. That's what a so-and-so. See, they got comfortable. Da, da, da. But see, they was trying to draw you in. You see what I'm saying? And now you're going through legal issues because of listening to this person. Really, you was the all-out business I is, right? Y'all were just going through little hurdles. And, you know, everything ain't perfect. Y'all were just going through hurdles. But this person, they did what they needed to to get what they wanted. So they emotionally manipulated the situation for this person to basically turn on you. Or, like, they turned on you in some sort. I don't know. I feel like somebody, player kissing ass, extra triggered. Yeah. It's like, and then if, if oh, you know how, okay, y'all, this is, I'm telling y'all, this is giving me so, nar I wouldn't be surprised if the narcissist card didn't come out, but this is somebody that play games. They, they look at life as a game. They look at it as a game. They look at, this is the type of person that date, that go after men that are married or women that are married or go after people that are in relationships it's, it's that type of person. They're like, oh, it's a it's a it's a challenge. You know, they look at it that way. They don't want to go after a single person. Somebody could come up to them like, I'm single, I ain't got nobody. They don't want that person because it's no challenge. They like to go out, they like a gameplay. They like the chase. They like the thrill. Ego. It's about their ego. Yeah. Caught a case. This person sleeps with multiple people. They could be a Jezebel spirit, you know. Honey, y'all know Jezebel spirits, honey. We, we ain't gonna say too much, but y'all know that that case that went live where so and so that that huge actor and that girl and then he ended up marrying her and lost and damn it lost it all yeah mm -hmm. that type of energy. But anyway, we ain't gonna go into that. Okay, but you know them Jezebel spirits will have you how you wait a minute. I was supposed to get some more cards on this. Clarify the star card. You could have some of y'all may have like a social media platform or a following with the star card as well. Or this person, somebody looked at you as like, you know, star quality. They really seen you as somebody very, you know, one of a kind. And like somebody didn't like that. What about the star card with this energy? What is this about? Dirty offer. This is, yeah, they were willing. Kiss an ass. I, I'll do anything for you. You come over here. I make it, I make it, baby, I make it rain on you. I, you know, fake flexing and nightmares. And now somebody's starting to see that. Somebody's starting to see that they got flexed, <laughs> that they got bamboozled. Okay, now they now they can't even sleep. They think it to themselves because what it's like whatever they did to you, they never had to do. It was because they either got emotionally manipulated or they were the ones emotionally manipulating you. But something something just wasn't fair at all. What's going on with the star energy? And now they they feel trapped. They feel stuck in their head. Whatever they whatever mess they've created, they feel stuck there. I told you. Look, happiness hater. This is this this little trifling helper right here talked all that sh about her because she didn't want him to go to her. She wanted him. Male or female? Okay, you can switch the roles. So she probably said everything she, no, you shouldn't be over there. You shouldn't be in that happy marriage. Da, da, da. You're not going to be happy over there. They're not going to make you happy. They're not going to make this. They're not going to make that. Like this, this is this type of person right here. I can't stand people like that. This is this. This is what y'all dealing with. Boss bitch. And some of y'all, y'all had it going on. That's the thing. Runs on business, stable, busy, multifaceted. This person felt threatened by you. That's what it was. They felt threatened by you, what you could offer. Because you was about, they knew, they, they knew, baby, you can't compete where you don't compare. You knew. Thought I just heard something in the house. Sorry, y'all. You can't compete where you don't compare. Like, this is like, 
this is like, you know, I love thought thought coming up and saying like, oh, I could do better for you. I could provide you with uh with this income, this type of lifestyle, this and that and this and that. You know what I'm saying? And they can't. They can't provide nothing. This is, I don't know. This, this, somebody seen you as a threat. And so they did whatever they, look, look, forcer. Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Somebody came in and forced their way in between these this connection, these two people here, male or female, whichever, flip the roles as you need it, male and male, female and female, male and female, whatever. But somebody knew they could not compete, and so they did whatever they needed to do to get this person to come towards them so they wouldn't heal something with you, or so y'all wouldn't come into union together. You see what I'm saying? Somebody was obsessed with it, and now somebody feels like they done got trapped with this dirty-ass offer. Like, it's not going nowhere. Okay, you might have had looks, but that's all you got. Baby, body don't pay bills unless you a porn star or something like that. <laughs> Stripper, hey, more power to you. Okay, I wish I had the body, but baby, I don't have a body or confidence to be no stripper, okay? but yeah, Or the rhythm, okay? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoever this was, they really, like, got in between to a connection that could have been beautiful. That could have been, you know, but the, somebody was emotionally manipulative here, so. All right, give me this Knight of Pentacles here. For Scorpio, please, spirit. Clarify this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, for Scorpio. Look, strong female has been through a lot. Then, second chance is someone's getting a second chance. See, now somebody, whoever the fuck this slow-ass knight is, now they're finally coming over here because they're realizing you're, you're my good luck charm. Look, your luck is about to change. Somebody's now seeing your worth, avoiding, someone's avoiding you or vice versa. Heck, I'm telling you, somebody was like manipulate. This was like, like a damn virus. And y'all could have just been friends. I'm not saying y'all had to be lovers or nothing like that. But y'all could have just been friends. But this is like somebody got in between y'all and like the little bee was buzzing, using, you know. They were manifesting in low vibrational energy. Thank you, spirit. Manifesting in black magic. Manifesting says using the law of attraction, calling in your desires and wishes. This was like a come to me spell, a love spell, you know, uh, using black magic, dark magic, someone doing black magic. You know, this could have been somebody trying to like send black magic, make you make your whole mood feel different. Maybe your mood, your attitude started changing or this person's mood and attitude started changing. Like they was doing something. And this black magic, yes, is manipulation. Sketchy. There's something off about them. See, they should have realized this person was dark and demonic. Baby, look at this. Look at this. Looking crazy. Set up. Someone's being set up. Yes. Some. This was a whole damn setup, y'all. Somebody wanted this person to miss this opportunity with you or not heal something or not come together or not come in a unit. Like somebody didn't want somebody to see you in like this star quality like they wanted you to look like shit okay like that's what i'm getting i'm sorry but clarify but you the thing is strong female male or female you overcame all of this no matter what these people threw at you no matter what this competition threw at you no matter the lies and shit that was talked about behind your back all that shit's coming to the surface and somebody's figuring it out clarify this knight of pentacles energy please spirit somebody now sees that somebody was a drama starter yeah, girl fight that they were in competition with you. Arguments, physical fight at work, competing, creative. This per the crazy thing is lonely card. They didn't see they didn't want to be left out. This person, they could like start dressing like you, start acting like you. All of a sudden, maybe you're maybe you're a spiritualist, right? They wasn't even into that. They could have been fucking Catholic or or no offense, but Baptist or something like that. And then all of a sudden they started acting spiritual. Like, I thought you was, I didn't know, huh? Wait. Now, now, all of a sudden, they in the tarot. Now, all of a sudden, they into astrology. Like, baby, wait a minute now. Now, all of a sudden, they like fishing. Or you like to play basketball. Really? You know, whatever it is that you like. You know, the dudes and stuff like that. You know, or all of a sudden, they like to go to the casino. Okay, honey, more power to you because I can't do it. But, you know, whatever is going on in, in, in their life. Yeah, extra trigger because this person was looking at you like, wow, that. That is my star pick. Like, that is my number one. That's who I want. You see what I'm saying? Moving on. Thank you. Next. And somebody didn't want to be left out. I'm telling you, y'all. So they started drama. What's going on with the Knight of Pentacles, please, Spirit? Knight of Pentacles, please, Spirit. What's going on with this Knight of Pentacles? 
in their head, overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. Now this person's stressed out trying to figure out how can I come towards Scorpio? How can I give towards Scorpio? This person could have even like wooed them with money, karmic friends, giving money. Yeah, idol. I'm telling you, they could have got friends together, y'all. They could have been like, you know, putting these little bugs in their friends. They're like, hey, they da, 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 talk shit about Scorpio. Da, 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 da. Tell, tell this, tell that, da, 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 da. tell a lie on them. You know, this, this is this type of shit. This is black magic because they didn't want this person to view view you as this loved and respected and admired somebody and i don't know if this is a friend or a family somebody give me another one please spirit this knight of pentacles now somebody is realizing it fishing for comments this person could have been all on your social media honey looking who you was talking to looking who you were interacting with how people were like you know um wanting to pour into you and stuff like that the bankrupt card coming out yeah Head in the clouds, fake smiles. This person, it's like, if you can't be with me, you can't be with them. If you, if you, you know, I don't know. This is unfazed and ghosted. And you over here unfazed as fuck. You like, you know, I don't even care. It is what it is. You over here focused on you, focusing on your leveling up here. Ego. Somebody was operating out of their ego. They was hustling, doing what they using what they got to get what they want you know what i'm saying and look moving just so that this person could distance themselves from you get away from you move away from you here because they knew if this person got with you they would see you as the lucky star that you were honey this is crazy this is a lot of energy to be pouring into some damn manipulation like i'm just saying like godly like you had all the energy to pour into that do you know what you could have did with that energy like you could have built you a whole new empire like, you could have started a whole new business. You could have traveled the fucking world with all this energy. Like, y'all could have did so much, baby. Like, you, 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 baby, you that good? Like, you some, get your position up. You know what I'm saying? Like, go to the car. Baby, you should be a car salesman. I'm just saying, like, damn. Like, anything else for Scorpio for this ring? Because I'm about to wrap this up. Because, honey, this was too much. Okay. <laughs> What's going on with Scorpio? First of all, you got success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Look at you. Mm, baby, I'm, I'm good. I'm still doing good. Okay. I'm all right. What's going on with Scorpio? Adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. This is what I like, Scorpio, about you. All this bullshit was going on right here. People like trying to down your name, talk dirty on you, talk down on you, all of this stuff. And you still overcame it. You still sh continue to shine as the star energy, as this beautiful healing light powered energy light-hearted energy so a lot of y'all light workers y'all shine throughout all of this and y'all overcame this and that's the thing and that's what's eating this person up because they did everything to tear you down and make you seem like you weren't shit come to find out you was the shit okay so don't ever think you weren't i just seen 333 on the phone yeah honey don't worry about it 3303 is what i say but yeah like mm -mm. Honey, you still became successful. You still leveled up after this. Even after all the challenges this person threw at you or whoever threw at you. What's going on? They always say right before your success, that's when the devil attacked you. And that's what was going on here. And they will use the people that's closest to you to get under your skin. What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Yes. And you dove into your imagination. This person, whoever this was, they created illusions. But you took those illusions and you created your success. And you created your business. You're like, okay, believe what you want, baby. <laughs> but this, you can, you can think and dream what you want. But I see where I'm going and nothing stopped me. And that's what you did. Somebody should have used their own mind, though, instead of letting somebody create this image of you in their head. But instead, they listened to what other people said. And unfortunately, they're going to miss out on you. Now they have these regrets. Now they're coming towards you with this Knight of Pentacles energy. Could be an apology. Could be an old friend or family member or something like that. Like, damn, I let so-and-so really get in my head. Yeah, you did. Hell, look. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. But the thing was, not even though you didn't want to teach somebody this lesson, somebody had to learn it. And you stood in your power. By you standing in your power and continuing to be that light-hearted energy that you was, that beautiful inspiration that you was, you taught this person a lesson. That they needed to listen to their own self instead of like depending on somebody else to provide them with uh, an, an image of you or or taking in what other people say to judge you. You know what I'm saying? Like you 
you could have somebody that don't know Adam from Eve, right? And this person could come in and they could be like, oh, da 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 da, da about this, da, da da just so you would miss the opportunity with that person. And that person right there was your gift from God. You see what I'm saying? That person was your gift from God. That person was meant to help you evolve, meant for you to change your life. Y'all could have leveled up together, grew together, you know, but created businesses, created that beautiful family together. But because you listened to that little friend that knew nothing about this person, you missed out on the opportunity. You see, or your cousin or your mother, honey, I don't know. It's like, it's like you was destined to go in a situation, in a, in a, in a path and you got stride away or you got steered away because a little snake was in the way you know that's this that's this energy right here but anyway don't miss out on an opportunity because of somebody else's opinion okay but anyways this is what i have for you scorpio <laughs> hope this gave you some clarity and some insight appreciate y'all so much for watching catch y'all in the next video bye guys